I decided today to come out to Cave Hill Cemetery in Louisville, Kentucky. I believe it was, uh, they started building this around uh, 1848, and of course it keeps expanding a little bit and so forth. This is what they call a garden cemetery, or sometimes a rural cemetery. Uh, back in the day, people were burying bodies closer into the city, but for health reasons, they want to bury them further out. Also, this is before there was a lot of municipal parks and such, or state parks, or anything like that. So, the idea was a city planner would set up this cemetery where you could bury people, but you'd also have a pretty walking grounds, a garden, picnic, or whatever. So it kind of served two purposes. And uh, that's what Cave Hill is, a cemetery essentially is. Now I'm going to try to find the two most famous graves probably in here, but I'll see how much walking I have to do to actually do that. Uh, more pretty scenery, I suppose. I'm trying to find specific graves. I should probably break out the phone to look up a map and figure out where they are. Yeah, I'm thinking a map is definitely in order. But at least it's a pretty walk while I get lost. Hopefully I can find my way back to my car. In hindsight, I think I should have marked on a map on my phone where exactly I left it. I'm not sh quite sure what's up with the doggy picture. Found one of the graves I wanted to find. Float like a butterfly, sting my like a bee. My dad told me a story once about throwing hay with uh, Muhammad Ali back when he was Cassius Clay. Apparently he was dating, at least according to my dad, and keep in mind my dad was notoriously full of shit. Um, uh, uh, Cassius at the time was uh, dating this preacher's daughter. And uh, the preacher apparently didn't like him for whatever reason and uh, paid my dad and one of his brothers to uh, throw hay on top of uh, uh, Muhammad Ali. Keep in mind, I don't totally believe the story because my dad was notoriously full of shit. But it's kind of funny. My dad's comments on Muhammad Ali were... Um, he talked a lot of shit, but he was a really good guy. Cool couple of bodies of water. Okay. I guess I know what those little water bodies were for. Spreading ashes and so forth. Gotta have some place to do it. I guess that's the prettiest place as any, I suppose. Alright, this is some pretty scenery. I'm slowly walking to the second gravesite I wanted to see. And I think I know about where it is. Strangely enough, Google Maps actually, once you're inside the cemetery, can route you to them. Pretty little valley. Or whatever you want to call it. Just cutting through to get to where I'm eventually heading. I found another one of the grave sites I wanted to um, locate, Colonel Sanders. Now, somewhere I've seen a picture of my grandmother and him, I want to say in a hospital or something, but I don't have any idea where that picture is. And I've been told sometimes people come out here and leave like chicken bones and such as some kind of offering. <laughs> but uh, that's the second grave I wanted to find. Now I gotta see if I can find my car, and there's a third one I may or may not find. There's a whole lot of memorials out here shaped like benches. I don't think I've seen that in many cemeteries before, but I guess I don't visit enough cemeteries. I guess the idea is you can come out here and commune with the soul of your uh, relative or whatever. GRC, but not the one you're familiar with. This is the uh, third grave I wanted to see if I could find. And here it is. I think that'll do it for today, and I'll just go on back home. But it's a pretty cemetery if you ever get to visit it.